My name is Daniel Wagenaar and I run the Neurotechnology Lab in the Chen Neuroscience Research Building. I did my PhD here at Caltech and it turned out that the experiments I wanted to do required equipment that didn't exist. So I first developed software that was clearly missing, but clearly required to do what we wanted to do. And then I developed some hardware. It was necessity that brought me to tool building and I realized I could do the same for other researchers. So, in 2016, Marcus Meister and I started the Neurotechnology Lab as a machine shop and problem-solving center. People come to us with questions, and the answer to whether it's possible is always yes, we will get traction on it, and we're not going to take no for an answer. I've worked on 219 projects, I think, over the last four years, from very small to not so small. I worked with David Anderson to develop a whole suite of little gadgets to make various parts of a complicated system talk together. We built an Arduino-based box that gathered timing information from a couple of cameras, an optical fiber and a treadmill, making it available in a single stream so researchers could make sure everything was synchronized. One of my favorite ever projects was a fly food mover for Betty Hong's lab. Betty and I invented this device where the flies would sit in their usual cylinder, but the dish underneath could be moved back and forth at a very slow pace, allowing us to surreptitiously change food sources to control what food was available at what time. The single most popular machine in the lab is the laser cutter, perhaps because it's so easy to learn how to use it. It's found so many uses. Front panels for electronic devices, microscope stages, one lab even makes clever jigsaw puzzle pieces to build mazes for behavior experiments. You cut your base plate, put all the various walls, and you basically slam it together and glue it in place and it's done. With our new space in the Chen building, many of the labs we work with will be much closer. It's surprising how much difference that makes, for people just to be able to walk along the hallway or take an elevator down. It really helps accessibility, and ultimately that's what this whole thing is about.